Hello everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my current fitness update compared to earlier this year. A quick recap on my fitness journey since January 2021. Earlier this year, I did a 75 hour challenge and failed miserably 30 days into the challenge. If you're interested in the whole story, you can watch my previous videos right here. After I failed the challenge, my workout became pretty inconsistent because I kind of overworked my body and my mind. I really needed a break, but I still managed to do one to two sessions of resistance training per week. But the problem was it was without structured programming or progressive overload or even just heavy weights. No, none of that. But around April, I decided that I want to get back to a more structured training program, but I soon injured myself doing heavy deadlifting. I strained my piriformis muscle. It took me another three weeks to fully recover from the injury. Around four months ago, I finally felt comfortable training with my full capacity again, but I have lost a lot of my strength. It took me another three weeks of consistent training to get my strength back to where it used to be. Then after that, I finally started to follow a really structured program. I followed the MAPS Anabolics and the Butt program from Mike Punk, and I followed them for three months. So while following the program, it was the first time of my life doing resistance training where I just completely take my focus away from how I look and uh, how my body weight is. It's just I completely ignore that. My only focus was on how strong I am. Just that kind of mindset change is very empowering for me. And also I do feel like I am a lot stronger, so everything is just finally come in place. As for now, I have finished the program for two and a half weeks and I feel amazing and uh, I am stronger than ever. It's just so empowering. I will go through five major lifts. They are squats, deadlift, pull-ups, bench press, and overhead press. With another two I did, sumo deadlift and hip thrust. I'm going to compare my current form to how I used to lift. I didn't record my lifts in the video when I just started the program, but I do have some clips from earlier this year, and since I didn't have much improvement between those months, so I do think those clips are still valid for this comparison. First, squats. This was my squats form from earlier this year. Very shallow squats. My squats depth didn't even pass parallel, but the weight was already very challenging for me. I would say that was ego lifting. As for my current squat form, I can squat past parallel with more confidence. The weights didn't increase much because I had to relearn how to squat properly during the program and started from pretty light weight to improve my squat form and depth. Second, deadlifts. This was my deadlift form earlier this year. I didn't realize that instead of conventional deadlifts, I was doing Romanian deadlifts all the time. Anyway. My deadlift's range of motion was pretty bad, so you can see I put two yoga blocks under the weights to shorten the distance for me to pull the weight up. Also, I tend to overextend my hip at the top of my lifts, which is now I know not good. It put extra pressure on my lower back. Now this is my current conventional deadlift form. I don't need the yoga blocks anymore, I improved my range of motion and my overall deadlift mechanics. Other than conventional deadlifts, I also practice sumo deadlift from the butt mod program weekly. Third, pull-ups. Earlier this year, I couldn't even do a good pull-up on the red resistance band, which is my second lightest band. But now I can do three pull-ups in a row unassisted in terms of pull-up training. I not only follow the MAPS anabolic program, I also did lots of pull-up practices throughout the day. I will talk about how I got my first pull-up in a future video. Fourth, bench press. This is how my current bench press look. 
compared to how I used to bench. The progress is not as significant as some other lifts, but it's noticeable. Fifth, overhead press. I don't have any earlier video of me doing barbell overhead press. And this is how my current overhead press look. I feel it's harder for me to improve my performance on both bench press and overhead press, especially overhead press. Compared to bigger lifts like squats and dead, it's just really hard for me to improve. And last, hip thrust. I think the form stayed pretty much the same, but I added 65 pounds on my hip thrust during these three months. I love this exercise. I guess it's because this is the heaviest number I can lift, so it makes me feel very capable and in control. Other than strength growth, I also improved my hip mobility by practicing pigeon pose. Pigeon pose used to be my least favorite stretch. I would always intentionally do it wrong. Not having my shin in front of me horizontally because it was extremely painful for me to do it correctly. I could still feel my outer thigh and glutes stretched in this incorrect form. And I would think to myself, it's good enough for this stretch. What I didn't know was pigeon pose was one of the best stretch for relieving and preventing piriformis syndrome. Piriformis syndrome is when you over tighten or strain your piriformis muscle. It will cause hip pain. And because the muscle is very much near the sciatica nerve, it may cause pain in the leg when the sciatica nerve is affected by the muscle. After my injury, I practiced the pigeon pose and its variations to relax my piriformis muscle. And the results were incredible. My hip pain was relieved instantly after performing these stretches. And these stretches have been in my stretching routine ever since. My pigeon pose is still far from perfect, but it's already improved a lot. Overall, I'm now physically at the strongest point of my life. I can still be stronger. My current goal is to be able to perform pistol squats. I'm now working on my single leg stand-up and TRX single leg squats. I really hope one day I can just do the pistol squats whenever I want. And that would be super cool. So that's it for my current fitness update. I have to say, focusing on my fitness performance alone has helped me tremendously. Not only my fitness performance has improved so much, I noticed that my health has also improved drastically and uh, I no longer wake up in the middle of the night. Just this thing alone has transcended my quality of life to another level and it's just, I'm very satisfied with it. I'll talk about my health in another video in more detail. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you won't miss my future video. I'll see you next time. Bye!